What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. Uh, today we're actually going to a place that I have not been to in a while and that is Best Buy. So uh, let's go there, see if they have anything new or see if we, uh, we can find anything different. Alright guys, so here we are walking into Best Buy and yes I am doing narration again. So first thing I saw were these uh, these new slip covers for all like the Marvel movies. I don't really know like why they released them again. Like they released like the Paramount versions, then they released the Disney versions, and now they're releasing these versions. I don't know why I'm kind of confused, but oh well, twenty five bucks for all those, um, which is kind of overpriced for older movies. Uh, there you go, Avengers: Age of Ultron, Ant Man. Uh, they had more Iron Man 3, Thor, Thor of the Dark Worlds, uh, somebody put Transformers on 4K there. Uh, next thing I saw, they actually had quite a few of uh, Wonder Woman Steelbooks. I just had the regular version though. And uh, this really cool Close Encounters uh, set that actually like makes noise and like lights up when you press a button on the side. $57 for that. Pretty sure it's cheaper in the States. $45 for that Wonder Woman Steelbook. Uh, Lethal Weapon the first season. Vietnam War, uh, Ken Burns, Dark Manry, uh, some new Lion King releases there. Uh, then Best Buy had their own edition of The Mummy. Uh, it had something inside, I can't really remember, I think it was like a book. There's their regular release. And uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, $27, I don't know why. Same thing with Fast and the Furious. Um, some things were on sale. Uh, they had lots of Transformers too. Like a lot of Transformers uh, Blu-rays. I've never... I haven't seen it yet. I don't really plan on watching it, but uh, I've never seen a uh, Age of Extinction. So uh, they also had Alien Covenant there, which uh, I just watched, and it, it was okay. Uh, Twenty bucks for that on sale. Well, not too bad of a price. Uh, some Disney stuff for you guys. There's all their eight ninety nine Blu-rays. They got rid of the bin. I don't know why, but there you go. It's all the usual stuff that you see everywhere. Um. Not really much else to talk about there. Uh, then here's their horror selection. Not too, too much. In the way of that, there was uh, just the end cap of this, and that was it. So, And all the stuff I already have. So, And then they had more horror stuff over here, too. Uh, like Ouija, or Ouija, or Krampus, The Purge. They had all the Purge movies there. They had no Purge Anarchy on Blu-ray. Right, more horror titles there. Uh, here's all their just reg their regular Blu-rays. They're really overpriced Blu-rays, but oh well, Lakers can't be choosers, right? Um, but it wasn't really too too much. There's a really cool Breaking Bad complete series for ninety dollars. Uh, there's more Blu-rays. They have an Escape from New York uh, Shell Factory Steelbook. That's the only one I see everywhere. But uh, there's that. Uh, they also had a Life Steel book there. Uh, still haven't seen that one yet. I need to watch that one. Um, I heard some okay things about that one. Uh, there was their like their new release section. So obviously lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of Transformers. And lots more Wonder Woman. I'm surprised. It was a really good movie. And then here's their 4K selection. So there's Arrival. They were they are. Overpriced, thirty-five dollars each. Uh, Thirty-three for Batman v Superman and twenty-five for Deadpool. Pretty sure Deadpool was on sale though. So there's Furious Seven, thirty-one dollars. Thirty-three for ET. Obviously, the older ones are cheaper. Um, the Revenant, that one. I don't know why that one doesn't have a slipcover, but whatever. Uh, Jason Bourne. Uh, they also had Get Out on four K. I don't know why, since there wasn't really anything 4K about that movie, but oh well. And here's the other uh, the other side of theirs, so $35, it's the max price. Uh, Magnificent 7 on 4K. The Martian, and uh, there's Planet Earth 2, I still need to watch that. I, I, uh, I have seen the first one, so. The Mummy movies, they had a really cool Purge trilogy on uh, 4K, so there's that. Uh, Split, they also had more Suicide Squad steelbooks as well, I'll be getting to that in a second. A lot of them missing the slipcovers, I don't know why, Warcraft was only 20 bucks. I'm surprised. Well, there's that, $32 for that, overpriced. Uh, and I know how popular this is, but here's the, uh, here's the HBO section. 
So obviously you have like Kirby Enthusiasm, Veep, uh, Game of Thrones, uh, Ballers. Um, just going down here. So you guys can take a look at those girls. Vice Principals, you know, there you go, more Game of Thrones. Um, you have lots of Game of Thrones. Uh, not, well, oh, there's a Pacific, $30, it's actually cheap. Uh, Silicon Valley, True Detective, Sopranos for $140, I think that was on sale though. Uh, Pacific was only $24, I'm surprised. Uh, here's some more of their kind of like bargain ones, or like trilogies, I guess. They had movies like all over the, pri uh, all over the place, so... John Wayne Collections, uh, Marilyn Monroe, Mel Brooks, uh, the Rocky one, Sergio Leone, uh, X-Men, they have lots of X-Men there. Here's a really cool James Bond set that I found there uh, for, how much was it? Uh, $150 on sale, and uh, they just had another one for like $125, so there's that. And then we actually did something a little bit different. We went over to the game. So here's the Nintendo Switch ones. I have no interest. So if you guys are interested, uh, there you go. There's some of the games that they had there. Uh, and then there's Xbox One, all their new release ones. So FIFA, Forza, NHL, uh, Destiny 2. I know a lot of people talk about that one. $80, though, overpriced. Especially for, like, FIFA and that and NHL, like, sport games. I'm pretty shocked that... There's so much money. There's what's coming out. So a new WWE game. Super Mario Odyssey. I don't know why people would pay $80 for that. Uh, that's worth more kind of 60 But it's Mario. Triple A title. Uh, there's there's, uh, there's a new iPad there. There's me obviously. Filming that. It's pretty big. iPad Pro. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, there's their Apple products there. So now I'm kind of getting into technology. Uh, $2,000, that's, uh, that's not too bad, I guess, no, it's not, but, um, there you go, there's, uh, if you're kind of interested, here's their Microsoft side, two, uh, 2500 bucks for that, almost, there's, like, a tech demo of that, um, you know, 2000 for that one, so pretty overpriced, Surface laptops, uh, there's a really cool gaming laptop, uh, Asus, for only a thousand dollars, thousand fifty. Here's Google Home. Uh, I think that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know like what the setup entails, but you can speak commands to it and uh, kind of responds. Hundred fifty bucks for that. Here's the new iPhone, uh, iPhone eight. Um, that's like the newest one. The iPhone X is coming out next year, I think. Uh, here's me like just playing on it, and uh, didn't know how to use it at first, but there you go. There I am. Um, <laughs> waving to myself. And, uh, still kind of doing some demos. I went into Super Mario Run. I just pull up a game for you guys. I didn't really know how to, like, start it or anything. But, there's that. So, yeah, I didn't know how to, like, play the stage or anything. I wonder who this guy is. I don't know. He looks kind of familiar. Maybe it's somebody I watch online. I don't know. Seems kind of cool. Lots of videos. Hmm. I might start. I might start with uh, binge watching him. Alright, guys. Just uh, came back from Best Buy. Obviously, didn't find anything there. But I hope you guys like the tour. Uh, just kind of like walking around, showing you guys all the different stuff, like uh, the new iPhone and everything. Which is <laughs> which is really overpriced. I'd have to say I'm I'm happy right now with my iPhone uh, iPhone 5C. Uh, it's pretty clear video and everything, but uh, I actually really like the camera on that. It was really sharp. You can see like every detail of my face on there. So uh, that was pretty cool. And uh, what else was there? There was the Google Home, as you guys saw. I tried to, I guess, talk to that, but it wasn't turning on. Um, like the all the uh, all that good stuff so uh hope you guys liked all the new technology and the store tour and everything uh as you guys see we are really overpriced in canada so uh that was really disappointing so uh but once again that is it guys uh thanks for watching be sure to like subscribe comment share uh turn instagram links will be in the description down below below if you want to follow me on there um, also be sure to check out Patreon, a dollar a month or more can give you early access and other 
pretty cool uh, goodies in that. So, um, once again, that is it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.